Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and every month I do one of these review videos. So last month for October was actually just posted literally like one week ago because I was so busy with Black Friday. But anyway, we have this month's video which is on November and also I apologize if you can hear some smashing in the background. It is just construction. I live downtown so we're just gonna have to live with it. In today's video, we're gonna have some usual categories. We're gonna have jewelry, beauty, and we're also gonna have a little bit of home ones. So without any further ado, let's get started. So starting off with the usual category for jewelry, I have my four favorites of this month from Majuri. And as usual, I have a partnership with them. So if you guys are looking to get 10% off, you guys can click on the links down below and the link will automatically be applied off of your entire purchase. If you are a first time customer, Customer. This month's favorite products, drum roll please. And the reason why I was like drum roll is because when I shared on Instagram, I did another Majuri haul. Someone had responded to me saying like, but don't you own everything from the store already? And I'm just like, actually I am missing X, Y, Z, like whatever. I feel like today's Majuri haul is actually quite exciting just because if you have been following me for a while and if you've seen all of my Majuri videos, I have so many. I have part one, two, three, four. Then I have a Black Friday one. Then I also have one for stacking my rings and I also have one for layering necklaces. So there's a lot of Majuri content if you're just wanting to binge on some jewelry stuff. Of all the content that I have done, I have yet to explore white gold. I feel like every product that I've owned from them has always been, you know, gold for me or solid gold and stuff like that. And for the first time ever, we are exploring white gold probably because I've exhausted all the yellow gold options. I'm just kidding, but still kind of. So anyway, it was funny because someone on Instagram had DM'd me asking me, what do you think about mixing metals, like white gold and yellow gold, like the different colors. And I was like, oh my God, it is so funny that you mentioned that because guess what the video is about this month. And I'm gonna show you all the reasons why I love mixing. I've actually been a huge fan of mixing tones from the get go. It's just because I always thought I don't know why, and this is probably just naive of me, but like, I honestly forgot white gold. Like I, for the longest time was like, the only option for mixing metals is if I do sterling silver. And the reason why I don't love using sterling silver is because as you know, for sterling silver, you can't keep it on at all times. You have to basically take it off at the end of the night. And if this is not your first time watching my videos, you will know I absolutely hate that. Like I like leaving my products on just cause taking it on and off is just such a nuance. Once I was actually trying stuff on in Majuri in the actual store, I tried on some of the white gold and she's like, you don't have to take these off. I'm like, you are now speaking my language, girl. I picked up three white gold stuff and one more yellow gold ring. And I feel like all of these items are actually extremely basic and just something that you could really, really use for stacking. So lately, if you guys have been following me, you will know I really like these statement products for for example, we have the diamond Charlotte ring right here. And this one, obviously very beautiful, but it is also a lot larger. So now I've been really loving, you know, thinner stacks and more dainty stacks. So this one here is the first ring that I got. This one is the beaded ring in white gold. As you know, I already have the beaded ring in yellow gold and it is my go-to thumb ring. And I also just wanna show you what it looks like if you actually wear both on your thumb because I was actually wearing it like this for a while. If you guys can see, it just looks so, so, so cute like this. So if you are asking me about mixing metals, I absolutely love it. It looks super cute, but I've actually put this kind of back with my chain ring that's also from Majuri. I put in the white gold beaded ring and then I put the caviar diamond ring over top and I just feel like this makes a really, really nice stack. The next ring that I got was just a basic stacking ring and this is also once again in white gold. So it is also this middle one right here. So it's literally just a 
thin band. There's no other kind of like component to it. Very, very basic and very classic. So I put it with the Bold Stacker in solid gold and the Pave Diamond Ring. And together it just kind of looks like this. I feel like also white gold just looks really, really good when you put it with yellow gold and diamonds. And since I'm increasing my diamond collection, the white gold really, really complements the diamond. The next two rings are actually these two right here. I'm just gonna spread them out to show you so you can see it a little bit better, but it's these two rings right here. I've paired it with the diamond baguette ring, which I've already gotten from before. This is the diamond lines ring in white gold, and it's just a very, very nice basic band with diamonds on it. As you can see, it is a little bit thicker in terms of the line compared to the regular white gold stacker ring. So this one is a little bit thicker. It is being stacked here with the twisted ring in yellow gold. So this one is the fourth ring I got and this one I got in yellow gold because I honestly feel like just very thin stacks and very just like dainty looking stacks are kind of my new thing. More dainty stacks with diamond and just kind of like a mix of white and yellow gold has really been my obsession this month and once again I just think it looks really really good with the diamond pieces as well so if you guys haven't already tried white gold I highly recommend because it's my first month with these products and I absolutely love it I'm so obsessed I actually think I'm gonna move this ring back to my thumb because I still think that looks really really cute so anyway there we go the situation on this hand I just absolutely love that and you guys know how self-conscious I feel about my hands so whenever I do these videos Videos, I'm like ah so that was pretty much the jewelry portion once again you can use my links down below to get 10% off now moving on to the beauty section this month I actually have another favorite perfume that I want to share with you guys I've been wearing this quite a bit this month it's by a brand named Erin the scent is called cedar violet so this is what it looks like it is actually a little bit different from some of the other scents I have I feel like this one is a little bit more earthy and more homey it gives off more of like a holiday vibe so this is why I really really like this perfume and why I've been wearing it right now around the holidays I feel like it's super perfect and I would just like to mention okay if you guys are watching these favorite review videos I just feel like every single time I mention a product then it somehow goes viral and I'm like if you watch my YouTubes you heard it first like for example the Caudalie instant detox mask I talked about it so often and I was telling you guys that my mom and I are obsessed with it. Then it went TikTok viral. Now it's sold out everywhere. Like you can't even buy it. I think maybe they brought in more stock. But either way, I was like... If y'all had purchased it when I told you to, then maybe you wouldn't be trying to buy it when it's out of stock. So the reason why I brought this up is because I was sharing with you guys that the perfume that I've been wearing all year has been this perfume that I've been calling it the Uber driver perfume. If you guys have been watching my stories on Instagram, you'll know that every time I go into the Uber, my Uber driver's always like, what is this perfume? Like, I want to get it for my girlfriend. I want to get it for my wife, like whatever. And I'm like, I shared it on my YouTube video like months ago and it also came with a naked story as well an embarrassing naked story anyway for the Sephora sale I recommended it again over 4,000 of you had clicked on it and we sold like so many units of this perfume it was sold out for a while some of you had DM'd me saying that you bought it then you got an email saying that it was out of stock so then they had to refund you it was just like we sold this perfume out so anyway if you guys want a reminder it is this perfume here Make sure you click on the link below because Elaine has a few of the same perfumes and it's also kind of like yellowy in tone. So make sure you get the right one. Okay, you don't want to get the wrong one. I have like all of their perfumes. If you can see from the back here, it's like this is now my fifth one, but this one is by far my favorite. All the other ones are really good, but nothing stands out like that one does. Anyway, if you want to hop on this early, maybe try this perfume. Anyway, that's just what I'm saying. So the next product that I have is actually something I have mentioned before. I actually did mention this in my Ibiza blog, but I wanted to mention this again because it is winter, it is cold, and this has been the only thing that has been saving me, which is the 
Versa Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This is not a new cream at all, okay? This little bad boy has been around for a really long time, but the reason why I wanted to mention this product again is because for some damn reason, my eyelids this winter have been getting a little bit of eczema. Okay, not even a little bit. I've been getting eczema on my eyelids. Usually I only get it in the back of my hands during winter time, but this winter, surprise, I also got eczema on the top of my eyes. So by the way, if you guys are very knowledgeable about eczema, I welcome any tips in the comment section because this is so new to me and I honestly don't even know what to do with it. I might have to see a dermatologist, but the only thing that has helped me on my face so far is this cream right here. And as you guys know, and I've been very transparent throughout this entire channel, is I typically don't have sensitive skin. I always have this as a disclaimer because whenever I review beauty products, I'll always tell you like maybe it's not for like super sensitive skin because it's fragranted or like whatever. I've never been, you know, like super, super sensitive, but this time I have. And one of the only things that will work on my eyelids right now is this cream right here. So if you are looking for like a really good cream, I feel like this is for for all skin types, like for all sensitive skin, great for the winter. Another one that is really good for winter is one I've mentioned last year, which is the Pharmacy Honey Halo Cream. The reason why I haven't tried it on my eyelids is because that cream is back in Vancouver. So I will update you guys right now. The one that I have at my own home is this one and it's been working really well. So if you're looking for a winter friendly cream, I definitely recommend those two creams. The next item I wanted to talk about is actually a Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow. I wanted to mention mentioned this last month, but I looked all over the website and they didn't have it at the time. I think they sold out, but I looked recently again and they have it back in stock. You must get this eyeshadow palette, okay? I don't care what your skin tone is. I don't care what race you are. I just like don't care. I don't care how old you are. Like this eyeshadow combo just really works with, I feel like, would work with everybody. Another thing about this is just, it's very like neutral. There aren't any like fancy dancy colors. You know what I mean? I can see this as like a core product. If you have just like a very basic makeup collection, I've been wearing this for months. I'm currently reviewing a new eyeshadow palette, but this one has, oh my God. Like I will take this to my grave. Take a look at this one. Once again, make sure you click on the link below because Charlotte Tilbury has a couple of different eyeshadows in this exact format. So make sure you get the right color one. So don't come blaming me afterwards, but it is this one here and you can see that the colors are so, so neutral, so great for fall. I've just been absolutely obsessed. Another thing I like about it is that it's actually very compact. I hate eyeshadow palettes that are very large because I travel a lot and I go back and forth between Vancouver and Toronto a lot. I just don't like carrying big eyeshadow palettes because it takes up space. And plus, I don't use that many colors. These sizes are honestly the most ideal for me. Before I forget and before we move on to the next section, I did want to mention the colors that I'm wearing on my lip because you guys always ask. I am wearing both Charlotte Tilbury, the super fat fabulous lipstick and the lip liner is actually in pillow talk to medium. So the next section that I wanted to go into is the home section. So the first product I want to talk about are the Diptyque candles. So once again, this is not new. I'd like to bring up these things anyway, just because, you know, like in case you are new to the brand or you are new to the scent, whatever, I always like to bring up really holy grails, even if it's not new as well. I purchased this for myself last year as a very special gift. And I think you guys may have seen the unboxing for it. I'll leave it here. It was a luxury beauty unboxing. So dip tea candles are by no means cheap at all. However, I've also been on kind of like a research thing with candles and I realized that there are actually some candles that are very toxic for you. So if you light them up, the fumes or whatever, it, it could be toxic. So I like how this one is not toxic, first of all. And second of all, this scent right here is probably their number one selling scent. It's called Base. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right or wrong. In addition to obviously it being like a luxury candle that smells amazing and will actually fill your home with the scent is that it is beyond just a candle. It is almost like a home decor like product. A lot of people after they use up the candle will reuse the candle 
cup thingy as like home decor. As you can see the way I've been using it, I've just been putting it at my front entrance for storing some of my favorite lip products so I can grab it on the go. But this is very aesthetic. This is kind of like you're getting a candle and you're getting home decor. It's kind of like when you buy a Chanel bag and you keep the box. It's kind of like that. If you guys are new to the brand, I bought it for myself even though it was extremely expensive. I usually try to wait till Black Friday or something to buy it for myself again. It doesn't matter if I'm a billionaire, it is the principle, okay? I just refuse to buy it when it's full price. Okay, the second product that I wanted to share in the home category is another like smelly, scenty, whatever. It's a diffuser, okay? It, that's what it is. It is this diffuser here. It's actually by a new brand called Season. I just feel like the color is so adorable and the size, I'm like, oh my God, don't get makeup on this. The size is also really cute. The diffuser just kind of comes out here. And I really like it because you can screw in basically any type of like scent into this product. Here, let me just show you right here. And it just kind of diffuses around the house. And I feel like, you know, having a really nice smelling home and also the type of scent is also important. As you guys know, maybe if you don't, I am quite like, you know, like spiritual, whatever, I do want to have good energy in the home and certain scents have and will produce good energy. This one can be used wireless or on a wireless charging station. So I thought that was really cool and it doesn't take up too much room, which is what I really like because my apartment isn't too big, but it has been definitely a favorite this month. The last two products I wanted to share are actually not really new products. It would be very fitting to talk about it because the holidays are coming up and I wanted to share some affordable depending on your price range of wines so the first wine i did share last year on instagram tiktok all over the place is this one right here this one is actually a white wine that is drake and kylie jenner's favorite wine and it's actually not poorly priced i believe it actually used to be 16 dollars canadian and i think after i think it went a little bit viral all over the place i think it is now like 19 dollars but either way even at 19 it is a pretty decent price for what this is no matter who i've recommended this wine to they've all been very obsessed so i definitely recommend it is by the brand Santa Margarita. So definitely check that out. The second wine I wanted to share with you is a cab soap. I love cab soap. Actually, who doesn't? But anyway, this one is by the brand Josh. This one also is not new at all. I just wanted to share with you guys in case, you know, I do know I have some recently legal watchers or if you're, you know, kind of like transitioning from just like college wine to dinner wines and stuff like that, I do want to recommend some of those because for the longest time I was trying to be sophisticated and I couldn't find it. The other one I really like is J-Lore, which I've loved for years and years, but honestly I'm now in more of an exploratory mood. I want to try new wines. Also, if you guys have any recommendations within this price range, just like max mid 20s like max 30 type of price range let me know in the comments down below because i would love to try but yeah i did really like j lore and it is another viral like you cannot go wrong wine but it kind of low-key still reminds me of my ex because we would get it like every night so sometimes i'm just like i'll just try other stuff and kind of go back to it occasionally but j lore is obviously something you cannot go wrong my latest favorite has definitely been the josh wines and that is pretty much it for the video today i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys in the next video probably when i'm in vancouver for the holidays thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys again soon bye